talked about our series working uh, clearing this field. Uh, it's a, it's a previous pasture, and it's something that uh, was opened up to the farm many many years ago. Uh, it's overgrown. We're, we're pushing back these bushes, and uh, you know I wish I had a before and after photo of how big this field was, how much had overgrown uh, to get it to this point, and how much work we've done collectively to get it to where it is today. Uh, but we didn't have the camera setup that we do right now or the drone um, to get some of those before pictures and the fact is we've been working on this for about two years. so. It's quite a, a chunk of real estate um, for us. It's it's a it's a beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful addition to the visible farm from the homestead. Something we can look out on and 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 uh, kind of admire every morning as we're having our coffee. So we're really looking forward to how it is looking and how we've gotten uh, this far. This section of the video series. Uh, we're going to be taking down a, a very large tree. Uh, this is a an old white pine tree. Um, there are a number of very large pine trees and this isn't the biggest of those uh, and certainly not the biggest living pine tree on the property. Um, but it's certainly a good sized tree and we need to remove it um, for many obvious reasons. It's, it's dead. Um, it's uh, it's a bit dangerous. It's uh, it's in the area we want to kind of clear away from, and we actually have you know as opposed to twenty or fifty years ago when it was either you know men with a chainsaw or men with a uh, crosscut saw and an axe uh, or whatnot. We actually have some heavy equipment here that we could safely take down this tree without even thinking twice. So. We're going to take full advantage of that and hopefully you enjoy that, that part of the video.
don't have a measuring tape. But there's a hand for scale. Really hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.